This is Pleasant Chemistry. Today we want to run some tests on some particular sort. This is my sort. We are going to carry out some tests as I have explained earlier. Now this is a sample C sort. Then we had water. Had water. You will observe that it does not dissolve completely. So when you want to write your test, that's C plus water, then your observation will be C partially dissolve C partially dissolve and then your observation will be C is a mixture your T plus water that's your test then your observation will be when you check it look at it C does not completely dissolve so that means that your observation will be C partially dissolve and then your inference will be C is C is a word is a mixture of soluble and insoluble salt. C did not dissolve, so we filter it. We put filter paper inside the funnel. Then we we'll wait for the filtrate to get into the test tube. Then the residue will stay on the top of the filter paper. So we know now that our C is a mixture of soluble and insoluble salt. So we need to filter. We are going to filter now. We keep the, uh, the filtrate and the residue. We are going to carry out tests on the filtrate, and likewise, we are going to carry out tests on the residue. So let's go. I will blow your mind. This is our residue. This is our residue. And since our residue is insoluble in water. This is our residue and this, since our residue is insoluble in water, we are going to add acid. I'm adding HCH. I'm adding hydrochloric acid to the residue. Now if you look at it, you see that thing boiling. You see it boiling. Boiling there. You see it boiling and that's what we call a fat facing. The represents of a colorless and odorless gas, which term slime water making. The represent of a colorless and odorless gas, which term slime water making. And that gas is. <laughs> so, the residue now has dissolved. We want to carry out tests on this residue. So, let me. We are going to divide this. Uh, fit with now, I know that's dissolved now, so we are going to divide the solution into two. I have dissolved my residue with hydrochloric acid and I have divided it into two. So I'm going to carry out test on this solution now. To the first one, I'm adding sodium hydroxide, and remember, we use sodium hydroxide to test majorly for cations. So that means that in this residue now, in this solution I'm holding, we have cations present. So we don't know the type of cation that is present until we see what we observe. We observe a white gelatinous precipitate, a white gelatinous precipitate. 
I want to say gelatin, it means that it looks like, uh, like milk, like starch. It looks like starch, it looks like milk. But in white marking or nipple marking, you, the right word to put there is gelatinous. So gelatinous still remains. You know that A, you know? When you have a white gelatinous precipitate at your observation, what are the two suspected ions supplying them in the comment box? One portion of the residue that I added the uh, hydrochloric acid to, and I'm using aqueous ammonia now. This aqueous ammonia. In drop, we observe a white gelatinous precipitate. And in excess, precipitate dissolve. Precipitate dissolves. And remember, when you have a white gelatinous precipitate, what that means that you are testing for either zinc or aluminium ion. And when you are using aqueous ammonia, it means that we are actually testing for zinc. This is my filtrate. This is the filtrate. And uh, when we are carrying out the fit test on filtrate, to the filtrate, I want to add sliver nitrate. Sliver nitrate. I remember when you add the sliver nitrate, which ions are you testing for? Which ions are you testing for? That is chloride ion. When we add sliver nitrate. Sliver nitrate. This is my sliver nitrate. I'm going to add it. If you look at the solution, you see that it is colorless. Then when I add sliver nitrate, we have a white precipitate. A white precipitate. Followed by triazonitrate 5 acid, which is HNO3. You will see that uh, the precipitate still remain. The precipitates remain. To the filtrate, I firstly add sliver nitrate, which gives me white precipitate, and followed by triazonitrate 5 acid, which is HNO3, and there are no visible reactions on adding HNO3. So I want to add aqueous ammonia now. You will see that the precipitate dissolve completely to give a colorless solution. That's, the, that's what we observe right now. Precipitate dissolves to give a colorless solution. And that is your testing for chloride ion. I would like you to draw the ions that we have just confirmed in this practical in the comment box. Draw the ions that we have tested for in this practical in the comment box and please if we have benefited you in any way in this video do subscribe give us a like and drop your comments i also drop the description of the previous videos i've done on this uh practical thanks for watching